G'day guys, Dom here. So, a bit of a quick build video today. It's been quite a while since I've done one of these with a bit of a commentary behind it. And this time around we'll be making a bunch of these pens here. Uh, I call these the uh, the DB Blades slash MIG collaboration. MIG's a friend of mine and uh, we work together to make these things a reality. So, these are all stainless steel. And I ordered them from him like this. So these are his, uh, I know he's got a name for them, but they're basically his standard pen design. And I ordered them from him, and he basically just machined these all by hand on a manual lathe, like a madman. And from there, I take them, and I'm going to text these things up. I'm going to do a little bit of stuff to them and make them look really nice, some cool stuff. Because um, right now, these things are really raw. There's still uh, lathe marks on here. Uh, yeah. Anyway, first things first is I've got to start processing these things. So I learned the hard way, pretty much everything on these things are tiny and easy to lose. So before I start anything, I split it all up. And put one in there. And then the insert comes up, and then these have a uh, little thing in there. There we go. And that's one processed pen. So now it's ready to go ahead and get textured, and I will like get shit done to it. And yeah, now I'm just gonna do this ten more times. So we're at the lathe. What we're going to do now is we're going to chuck this up and we're just going to clean up this bottom bit, this bottom area right here. That's just there from being turned. Uh, when Shane did these, he would have um, just, you know, cut it off right about there. And I just like to take that off real quick. So it turns out my camera might be a little bit of a dick. I thought I was actually filming a, you know, in-focus video of me cleaning up the pens. But no, the camera decided it would much rather focus on the, uh, the rubbish bit in the background. So all the footage is blurry and shit. Not great. So yeah, you're just gonna have to uh, imagine me going through these and basically sanding these up to um, 400 grit with the, uh, the belt sander, just in this area right here. And the next part after that is I'm gonna just take it here and just hit it on the buff real quick, just to kind of clean it up a bit. Cause really this is the only part of the whole pen that's not gonna be um, not gonna be textured, so that's gonna be nice. You don't have any uh, marks showing when you uh, when I do the finish. Anyway, the thing with buffers is that they just love to be a bit of a Especially this one, cause it's a super, super ghetto one. I basically made this out of an old linisher and uh, made this thing up here and basically just slapped a buffing wheel on there. Super sketchy, but it works. I definitely wouldn't do blades on there, but for this sort of stuff, worst case scenario, it'll throw a pen at me. Uh, and that just hurts, really. 
Now this is a blade, it obviously put a hole in me and I would be in a hospital and it would not be great. So you can see, you're not really much of a buff, just real quick, just to give it that little bit of shine. And then I just find that helps smooth out those marks a little more, so I barely got to touch this area with the, uh, the sandblast cabinet. Anyway, now that's done, we're on to texturing. Now, a lot of people think that I actually texture these with a hammer, and that'd be great if I could do that. That'd save me a lot of time, it'd be a lot less expensive, and I wouldn't wear through wheels as much. But unfortunately, the issue with doing this with a hammer is that you're gonna run into the risk of crushing the internals because the hammer doesn't remove metal, it just moves it around. So if you're moving metal around, what's going to happen is you're going to deform the inside of this and that's just terrible. You're not going to fit your insert in there anymore. The threads aren't going to work. It's just no good. So the way around that is I grind it in and it is... It's simultaneously the most enjoyable part of this and it's also the most tedious. Because the first three are great, but after three you get kind of sick of it. Uh, the trick to this is you got to be really steady with it. This is not something you're going to pick up real quick. It seems really boring, repetitive, but you do really have to kind of pay attention to make sure you don't, um, you get a good pattern that's nice and crisp and uh, not washed out at all. Anyway, I'm not going to say a whole lot. That might be good for some of you people. I know at least three of you guys are cheering that I'm going to shut the hell up. Anyway. Grind is flipped up horizontally, and uh, let's get grinding. nicely textured up we're going to go through and we're just going to knock off this really sharp edge in here with the uh, the knife thrower 6000 doesn't take a whole lot but it sure as hell makes a massive difference because that right there is super sharp these all nicely knocked off we'll just do the rest real quick and then we're just gonna sandblast the crap out of these and do a bit of a finish on them what I was looking for. Perfect. You can see we've got that really cool like a uh, kind of graffiti look to it. I really like doing that kind of an angled logo. Anyway, so that's a clip ready to be put onto a pen.
And there we go, well, pens are all done. Uh, pretty happy with these. This is actually the first time I've done them with the, uh, the combination of blasted clip and uh, blasted guts or internal part or whatever you want to call it. And this is not going to want to focus. There we go. So this is bead blasted in here and the rest has just got this nice color to it. Brushed hardware. And then that really cool sort of a graffiti style logo that I'm really liking at the moment. Try to get these all as close to each other as I can. So they're all fairly similar. Just for, you know, consistency's sake. And uh, yeah, that's that guys. These are all done. Uh, these are all gonna get shipped out probably Monday or whenever. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.